Welcome back, gamers. This is SKS, your intelligent guru of colonization. And by intelligence, I mean if it were a washing machine, you know you'd put a dirty load inside of me. Alright, the so last time we left off, we were still trying to make our way around uh, expanding and figuring out what's around us. So let's go down here and check out this tropical forest area and see what the Indians have to say. Maybe they'll give us more money. We know they're all sugar planters. And hopefully maps. Yes, that's what they're going to give us. And we'll see a little bit more. Now, the last time to summarize what I did is we purchased a privateer. And we've already sank a Dutch merchantman. Which I just hate that for them so very much. But that's what you get when you stay near me. And we add more lumber to Fort Boob. And I was just coming out here a little bit to see what was on this area but now we're gonna swing back around here and we're gonna make sure that we privateer the Dutch and probably really piss them off and there's our good friends the French it looks like they're coming up here to settle so we'll have to be careful because they're out marching around to see what's out there so we don't want them to expand because we're kinda caught between a rock and a hard place I have a little bit of area to expand my English here but not a lot. But that's okay. Like I said, I've played this game before. I have beat it, which is one colony. So if we have to do that, we will. Which we should now since we have three. And so the Liberty membership is down. That's because we are continuing to grow that place. Let's check it out anyway and see what we have. Yes, we was going to send this boat to spam. Hopefully when we get that boat back to uh, London, we will pick up the free colonists that we have and continue to grow. Alright, I'm going to go right here and finish the little plow and put a road in that location. And sorry about the mic, I've noticed at the start of some of the episodes, it has actually started popping and cracking. And it's because I'm using a wireless mic right now. I ordered a wired mic because my other one was destroyed. So hopefully soon that will come in the mail. And as we see the Dutch have another merchantman. I need to sit there and wait for that to come out of port. So hopefully we can get stuff. And uh, But as back to the mic. Um, it's in the mail so hopefully I'll have that soon. And we'll correct that problem of the popping and cracking. I apologize for that gamers. But see, the Iroquois tribe has fallen upon hard times and does not have enough food for the season. Will our brothers of Fort Boob share the bounty of our harvest with us in their time of need? I'm sorry we gave it the office, or we offer you 46 of our 93. We're going to go ahead and offer it because we want to keep them on great terms. And their tribe, so they give us six cotton and trade for all that food. Alright, and they give us more cotton that we use for absolutely nothing. as we continue our search here. I know that eventually I'm going to make my way down here and run into the French. And that could actually cause some issues. Now we're going to place ourselves right about here so that their ship will come out and he'll lose movement points. Just like in normal games, if you walk by the enemy, you lose your movement points. And they're sending missionaries out to the Indians. Oh, and there it goes. It went the other way. So hopefully I can get over there and attack that. Because it had three loads of goods on it. If not, I'll have to buy another privateer and just have it ready for them. But we'll see what happens here. We'll have the scout move on around. And let's see if we can catch the the Dutch. Nope, it looks like they're long gone, so we missed that. So that was a very bad missed opportunity. But the pluses you see here, those are crosses. You can actually uh, get missionaries and send them to Indians, and they will actually send citizens to live with you. And I will do that here shortly to bolster my population up. Because they do excellent on anything that doesn't evolve. And let's see, Explorer Sir SKS, because of recent developments in our ongoing war with the Barbary Pirates, we have decided to raise the tax by 2%. The tax rate is now 10. If you wish, you may kiss our royal pinky ring. Again, he knows exactly where to hit us. I do not want to have a 
I Hate France tools party because we have a hundred tools there. Too valuable, we have to kind of kiss the pinky ring. Later, I'm going to have to actually get to where I can make my own tools. I should work on that. I should actually purchase somebody who makes tools. Because we have enough ore coming in and out of our areas. And we'll send you back down this way. Hopefully we'll catch them when they come back in. We'll park him right there. They're actually in a really good location to outrun me. The merchantman can get away fairly decent if he goes out that top way. But hopefully if I, I... I put my ship too far away this last time. And it really screwed me over, gamers. So we'll see what we can come up with. Alright, let's check on spam here and see how they are doing. We'll give them these tools. And we'll take their fur. And they have 45 silver to sell, so we'll take that and go back to London and sell it. Now, they're kind of the lost location. They're far away from our other cities. We'll have to watch that when we declare independence, when we get that far, if we survive that far. And our pioneer has reverted to colonists after using all of its tools. So we'll just park here still. And the Dutch, I saw them take out military units, so we're we're going to have to be a little careful because if they actually become war bearing or they expand a little bit more, we're going to be cautious. I actually want to make a colony on that far side there, try to block them from expanding southward, in farther toward me. Hopefully, the uh, Indians will also keep them from moving. All right, so let's move this colonist back into Fort Boob. As the turn flows. And as you see, I kind of stopped him there. He was probably going to the other place. We'll attack him anyway. If we can keep uh, sinking those, hopefully we can keep their economy down to where they won't get so much money that we can't comp uh, go with them. Which I have a lot of money now. I need to actually spend some of that to bolster up my defenses and things of that nature. All right, let's put you in Fort Boob, and we will make you We will actually make him a tools maker No, I guess I can't so Obviously that's one of the buildings you have to build so let's finish buying this warehouse 26 complete it we will have Colonists go back and cut more trees. And for the time being, we will have you produce coats. Because we have 28 furs, just something to make a little bit of money or to trade to the Indians. We'll see, but uh, you'll see what I'm going to plan here in just a second. He'll not make many coats. All right. Let's attack the merchantman. And we didn't sink it, but we damaged it. So hopefully that will keep them at bay a little bit. Eventually they kind of figure out who is uh, attacking them with the privateers, so you have to be careful. All right, we've completed our warehouse. That allows there to be extra goods. And we are going to actually make a... I want to make a lumber bill, lumber bill, lumber mill ASAP, but I really need to start making my own tools. We'll do the lumber mill first. Yeah, we're not going to pay that much for it. We'll let them work on that, and we're already going to pull him off that and on to making hammers so that that lumber mill will be shot up as soon as possible. ship is taking the ass backwards way to London. Why he did that, I do not know. Alright, let's scope down here and see how big New Amsterdam is. up to three, so... So the Dutch have two three-size cities. I believe I have the same. I could actually have more. 
but I have been slowly increasing my uh, city size, yes, four and three, so I actually got them beat, and I have spam to boot. They probably have another hidden colony up there that I've not seen yet. And the king is adding more troops. So I definitely made a mistake of giving him all that money right at the start. And we found more Indians. And this colonist has converted back to a blacksmith. I'll probably actually make one of those free colonists go back out as a pioneer. Because I know to make a new settlement you have to have so many tools, I believe. That might not be true where I used my uh... Oh, we've met the Toopy. I was wondering why the game was freezing there. Fifteen camps. Yes, we'll be friends with you. Uh, visit our wagon trains. I love the way these guys dress. They just remind me of Hawaiians. Somebody's going to write in and say, Did you not know the Toopy were Hawaiians? Which I know they're probably not, but still. Alright, we made 770 off of the... The silver we sold. Alright, we will... Bless this guy with tools. And we need to train. I don't want to train anything yet. Um, purchase. A privateer. Yes. So, we will send the caravel back first. Okay, well. Send you back, and you back alone, and steady as she goes. Alright. Not much micromanagement. And Liberty Bells are being produced. Spam is going up. There's only one person there. They have run out of lumber, so... The way to fix this is to take one gentleman and put him as a lumberjack, and we should be fine. What are we producing here? The warehouse. Can we finish that? Yes, we'll pay 104 and complete that. Alright. Hello, Tupi. We love you so much that we're going to actually take everything you have of value. Why? Because we love you. We're white. That's what we do. This is when I start enjoying this game too much, gamers. You start making fun of the history. Oh, look, it's our good merchant man, right back. How are you doing? I can tell it's them because of the orange color. Those Dutch, they're crazy about orange. I bet they buy crayons and it's nothing but 64 orange colors. Ha 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 ha! Alright, we have made our warehouse here. And we will produce the lumber mill as well. Well, well, obviously I can't talk today. I need to start getting horses and put them in every colony and let them produce as well. Once you have two, I guess it's a mama horse and a papa horse, uh, you can kind of put together the situation of what happens there. So let's speak to the chief. They have seasoned scouts. I'm already a seasoned scout. And they will tell us about nearby lands. Oh, and there's two more locations for us to plunder. I mean search. Alright, let's go into Fort Boob. And we will move this gentleman out as a pioneer. And bring this guy in. And have him make hammers. And they are producing just enough food, so no growth. They're stagnant. But we'll keep that. And exit out. And let's see if we can attack this merchantman. Yes! And we've sunk another merchantman. So they can just keep buying those things for all I care. But I've got to keep the Dutch at bay. Privateers are the key to happiness in this game. Oh, and we see who is actually coming down our way. He might be coming to talk to me, but I don't want to... ...have any risk, so I probably need to move guns up to that location.
All right, gamers, we've reached the end of our time, so next time we will prepare probably for battle against the Dutch as they become very ornery on us. But join me next time as we conclude... Well, we're not going to conclude. We're far from that. But we're going to conclude to know what the Dutch are up to. So join me next time, gamers. This is FKS signing off.